Continuing then with physical security. Um, uh, there uh, is a lot of similarity in conceptual terms, anyway, in terms of access control. You know, physically, you want to prevent access of unauthorized people, and you want to determine whether or not they should have uh, authorization. And if they assert some identity that should uh, have access, you need to authenticate whether, in fact, that is true, um, whether this person is, in fact, uh, the person that they say they are. Um, and, and, of course, again, uh, accounting for um, the uh, physical access in, in many situations. Uh, so you've got, you know, identity, uh, authentication, authorization and accountability the same way that you do in access control um, you know it's it's just a, a physical access control um, rather than um, a purely technical one um, and again because of that we are going to uh, look um, in, not necessarily more closely, but uh, uh, illustrate somewhat better the concept of layered defense and defense in depth. Um, the, uh, there's also uh, an area, I'm not sure whether we're going to uh, get into this in, in this, uh, the, the details of SEPTED or crime prevention through environmental design. Um, in uh, this video or, or whether that'll be uh, left for the next one. But um, uh, that is a, a very interesting field um, um, and sometimes a little surprising in, in terms of uh, what you can do to uh, uh, deter people from uh, considering even uh, trying to uh, breach your defenses. Uh, so uh, the, the construction um, uh, and, and we will be talking about certain aspects of, of construction uh, with regard to physical security um, and uh, the uh, structural barriers and, and even natural barriers that that you can uh, uh, build into your uh, environment, your work environment. Um, so, um, the the access technology, um, you know, doors, gates, uh, locks, uh, you know, th these types of things, and and uh, different types of of physical access technologies um, which can come in a, a quite a variety of forms. I mean, you know, there are uh, certain aspects of, of access technology uh, where you simply say, okay, you know, um, we won't have a door here because we really, you know, uh, most of the traffic that we are dealing with here is uh, small physical objects so we can have a pass-through uh, and that is too small for someone to get through and you know that is part of the access technology so um, then access policies and again as you know we've talked about in in terms of policy and in terms of access control um, this includes not just your employees uh, but your uh, your vendors your uh, suppliers, your uh, customers, um, contractors. So, you know, there are a, a number of areas that you should be addressing um, in terms of the access policy. Who does get access and, and how do we determine that? Um, so, I, again, as I say, you know, we're, we've got lots of relations to uh, access control and, and you might want to go back and, and uh, review some of that material 
and uh, security architecture as well. Um, when it comes to uh, layered defense and, and defense in depth, and basically the same thing, um, consider, well, we've just gone through the COVID pandemic, so uh, let's consider this. Um, you should, uh, during the pandemic, they, you know, there were various mandates and that sort of thing, but, you know, basically boiling down to, you should stay home. Well, staying at home isn't perfect. There are certain things that you need to do. There are certain um, jobs that need to be fulfilled to keep society running, and therefore, uh, not everybody can stay home. So, you know, one layer of defense is convincing people to stay home, but that doesn't work for all cases. Um, when people are out, uh, you know, if they don't stay home, uh, or even if they do stay home and you've got uh, different parties, you know, you've got a lot of people at home, um, distancing uh, prevents the spread, or at least reduces the possibility of spread. But distancing isn't perfect. Um, and we were, uh, you know, we're early on convincing people that, you know, hand washing was, was important, and it is, uh, and that masks, you know, but m hand washing isn't perfect. Masks aren't perfect, and, and particularly, you know, since uh, the uh, level of, of masking that you really should be doing, I mean, you know, they're every kind of mask will will reduce the risk somewhat but um you know what is the the actual level uh of protection that you get um so uh and then you know even when we got the vaccines vaccines aren't perfect it's not a hundred percent you know the, the vaccines that were produced were were really very good and they you know allowed us to sort of break the back of of the pandemic and and start to get back to normal but even today you know I have just been talking to somebody who was wearing a mask um, for good and valid reasons of her own. Um, so that is the the idea of defense in depth, that there are various forms of protection. They provide some protection, but none of them are, in fact, perfect. And so you layer additional layers of defense in uh when when we're dealing with something like that um now i you know in physical security it's uh fairly easy to see you know just in terms of construction you've got you know the outside fence around the property you've got the outside wall of the building um you have uh uh you have lighting um, you have alarm systems, you have uh, interior, uh, you know, compartmentalization of, of uh, more secure areas. So, um, you know, that produces layers and, and, you know, people can get by the fence. So you have uh, detection systems. People can get by the walls. So you have alarm systems, uh, you know. Uh, People can get by the fence, so you have lighting and, and possibly uh, closed-circuit TV systems. So um, these are layers, uh, you know, they, and uh, none of them are perfect, unfortunately. We do not have perfect security. But when you start putting layers on, when, when you know, you design defense in depth then we can get to a point where we say, yes, this is, this is reasonable, this is prudent, this, um, it's going to address our needs um, most of the time.